Right, so I got some new things through from Bulgaria. Yeah, nice. Because I'm going off again this summer to do the perfume plants of Bulgaria. Marina Barthanilia is doing the rose retreat this year. Mm -hmm. And following that, I'm off to do more plants. Because I said to Sylvia, I said, but you've got all these other plants. Everybody knows all about roses. Roses, big, 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 big thing, big cliche. What about all the other stuff? Mm. So that's what I said we'd do. So they're a, manu they're a manufacturer of essential oils? Yeah, there are essential oils and absolutes produced in Bulgaria of various sorts. And you went last year to do a retreat for them about roses? Yeah, about rose it's, well. it's called the Rose Retreat. It's not very retreaty. It's out and about. Mm. But it's, uh, we, nice. we harvest roses. We, um, uh, uh, we made some perfume. Mm. We went exploring um, various fields. This. So who goes on it? People who want to learn well, how to make perfume? Or? There were a couple of writers, and there were some people who were working for small perfume companies. Uh, one person working for a fashion house who thought mm. they might do perfume. And two people owned their own natural perfumes, or natural cosmetics products companies. I'm going to turn off the noise. Right, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, sounds like a good thing. It's a, it is a good thing, because Bulgaria is famous for its rose essential oil, which wouldn't smell. Do you know what this is? What do you um, get from this? Should I know it? Well, we have some, but we've not smelt the Bulgarian one before. Is it a flower? No. No. No, it's not, is it? It's it a wood. A, it is a plant. It's... Is it labdanum? It's, no. it's not, but it very often is used in with labdanum in Chypre fragrances. Is it, does it begin with the letter O? It does. Is it oat moss? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, so this is Bulgarian oat moss, which is rectified so that it's, it can be used on the skin safely. I'm very proud of myself there. Good. It didn't take you'd you long think, at all. You'd think that I'd learn a thing or two. Yeah, I think sometimes if, if we were to... It, play the films hmm. from 2019 or wherever it was when we first started when we didn't know as much. Hmm. I think people when will be stunned at how much you now know. Well, it is progress in motion. From, you know, an entire fil film a week for, but it's quite a, quite a while now. Um, but I, I like that. Yeah, me um, too. And, ah, oh, now this is the thing we must talk about, mm -hmm. is uh, we've got a question today from Mike, thank you Mike for your question, um, <laughs> thanks for phoning in from Australia, why do we use these um, pipettes when, apparently all over the forums it says you shouldn't use these pipettes because things evaporate from them or the tops melt or whatever, well, mm -hmm. so what people might observe if we are, if, if they've been watching films, is that every time I put the lid back on, I will always, before I put it in, I always empty everything out. Mm -hmm. Fill it up with just air, <laughs> then stick it in. And that means that it is very unlikely then that the liquid will make its way up the tube. Yeah. Capillary action, that's what it's called. Capillary action, yes. well done. Yes, we remember the entire. Um, <coughs> but if you leave it full, then what happens is the air here will escape a little bit. And it's not quite capillary action, it's a bit, but you're talking about capillary action for the very, very, very bottom of it, where it's very narrow tube. Um, and if the air here evaporates a little bit, because it's a little bit leaky around the top, then this can draw up into the bulb and it can e e escape. But I'll just do that while we're here because that's what it's for. But if you empty it, thank you, and then put it back in. And you, just, you know, keep checking them, but then you don't lose your materials. If they're in ethanol, then, you know, it's absolutely fine to have them stored in these. And for the same reason, if you, anyone has any cosmetic products that they use that come in those kind of bottles. Yeah. Aesop, etc. 
Always yeah. empty your tubes. Yep. Yeah. Empty your tubes. Let that be a lesson uh, in life. So I haven't told you what this one is yet either. But this is this is a new one. I shall want to oak moss. This is still my favourite pen. I was using it last week and it's still my favourite pen. We should have a feature called Sarah's Pen Update. We where should. we check in and just check what your favourite pen is this week. Yeah. Maybe I'll put right. some music to it. <laughs> Sarah's favourite pen. The music, yeah. Um, this is um, this is quite clearly a dandelion. Well. Would I know it? I'd say it's quite difficult to tell from this version of it. This is different from the one that I normally use. So, um, I know what it is. Do you? It's not a plant, is it? It's not a plant. In fact, it's not even... Vegan. Yeah. I know what it is. Tell me. It's beeswax. It is. It's beeswax, absolutely. And it, after, out of the four that I brought upstairs here, mm. you don't even know what they are. Well, so I need to be... I need to... I was, what, you had, you take the bottles bit, earlier. You've written it on your, on your thing. I've written it on... <laughs> 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 You're very good, Arthur. Thank you for being honest. But anyway, it's, but yeah, now it's, I know it does smell no, like beeswax. Yeah, but it doesn't Absolutely. smell like the other one that I have, which is just here, if you want to. Um, I say it's just there. It's not just there. It was. It was. It's. I could just stand <laughs> up. <with that. laughs> My arms are quite long, but they're not that long. It's, you know, that's apparently that's the definition of sloth. Um, not doing something when it's simple to do. Well, yes, it's it's just, it's so much easier and take a lot less time just to get up and go there. But mm. you sort of can't be bothered, so you put more effort into trying to do it without right, yeah. that. That's um, that's slothfulness. Okay, so this is the. Yeah, it's an interesting quality, that isn't it? It sort of doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, I saw Spike Milligan define it once by by moving. It was about um, trying to jump over a fence, try all kinds of ways to get over a fence when what he could have done was just open the gate. Mm, mm. But he couldn't be asked to open the gate. He mm. would just he spent an hour trying to get over the fence instead. Um that there's something something very weird about sloth. Mm. Yeah, it's not just laziness. No, it's not. You put all kinds of other effort and obstacles in your way rather than do the one thing that would make your life easier. So um Mm. The new one, yes, is is earthier to me. Yeah, because be the beeswax, um, beeswax absolute, is made from beeswax, and it's very much dependent upon the flowers that the bees are buzzing around. Mm. So there's a nice labdanum beeswax, which floral concept to make. Smells halfway between labdanum and bees. This, so when you said dandelion, I thought maybe, <laughs> maybe the bees happen to be buzzing around dandelion with bees. We'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, that's the other one. Okay. Um, and, and I have a plan for these. Yeah. Actually, after we've done this, uh, I thought we would do a couple of experiments to see what happens when we put these materials with. with? Modern molecules. Excellent. I'm. I'm. So it's kind of yeah. I'm very. Supportive. Bulgarian blossoms and beeswax, and modern molecules. They the the B B M M. I don't think you would guess this. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't even know. I don't think. It's really nice though. Yeah. What area do you think this might be in, in terms of... It is a plant this time. I'm covering it up. God, it's really nice. <gasps> yeah. Um. It's something I have not had before. I've not owned it. Wow, that's really amazing. It's a flower. It is a flower. Can I guess what colour the flower is? You can. Um... I think it's a purple flower. No, well, it is not. Ah, damn it. It is. Is it creamy yellow? Creamy white. Oh, is it? Mm. 
creamy white and there are lots and lots and lots of tiny little ones rather than one big one. Elderflower. <laughs> it is elderflower. Is it actually? Yes it is! Wow! This is really something special. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Uh, so this is a CO2 extract. It's, so it's not uh, it's not produced by Sylvia herself. She does not grow these, but uh, she knows the people who do. That is one of the best materials that I've smelled in, smelled in a long time. Yeah, which wow. is why I was quite excited by the idea of just not just doing roses. I mean, lots of people go over to Bulgaria for the rose. Mm. week and people dress up and pretend that they harvest roses dressed in white right. aprons and pretty frocks and big hats and you know of course they don't they're wearing their jeans and spitting the fags like everybody else is working mm. hard in the fields okay next but there's 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 more that's a bit the whole rose thing can get a bit nationalist mm -hmm. which is you no. Know, it's it's up some people's streets. It's not up others. Right, oh this. okay. But there's a mythical kind of thing going on with the the roses, which the other flowers aren't quite so romantic. But you know, and neither am I. Hmm. I know what this is. Do you? Will I know what it is? Well, you might. This is a tree which famously smells wonderful. There's a whole street of them in Berlin. Oh, no, then I don't know. Linden. Linden. Wow, it's really nice. It's a great white, just coming up to the Brandenburg Gate, formerly mm. on the east side, there's a, a big wide avenue called Unter den Linden. Lindenstrasse. <laughs> Not quite, no. Under the linden trees, that's the mm. literal name. Oh, of that's more. That's a lot. That's lovely. Yeah, that. and there's one in the park. In it, honestly, our local park. It's full of. Th that is amazing. Meetings. That it smells. It smells very. Um, it smells quite incensey. I can imagine it being on, a, on, a, yeah. on an incense stick. Incense and it's sweet and honeyish. I actually had a honey-scented incense made by Loxitan. Right, yeah. And it reminds me of that. I think that I've never been more excited than witnessing you working with this and the elderflower. Okay. The linden and the elderflower. Those two things, I mean... Well, I, that's what I have to do next. I have to, I have to put some, I'm going to put some formulas together, especially for this wow. um, event. Because wow. that's what I did last year, working. I did a whole bunch of formulas to show you that Every style of fragrance is better when you add rose to it. That was mm. my theory. Oh my god, the these two together, are I know. so good. <gasps> Aren't they? Let's smell all three they? together. Okay, we're putting the beeswax in. Yeah. They actually, those three together. That is bordering on perfection. Do we stick the last one? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this is so good. But then, wow. of course, it's very difficult because I get people, we had 10 here on Saturday, and people will put the sticks together and go, right, I want to make one that smells exactly like that. Mm. But then we don't know exactly how much we put on each strip, and it's quite tricky. That is... It's not bad, is it? Well, I mean, it's, it's incredible. Arthur has thrown his strips onto the table in a definitive move, like you would do in a card game when you've won all the money. <laughs> um, I've got I've got new sticks this week. These are not mine. This is somebody else's brand, but yes. we're getting we're getting new books. Yeah. From France. <clears throat> we got to get everything from France now before the borders shut again. You know, the UK is. Well, it's going to get harder at the end of this year. Of course it is. But yes, uh, plucky, um, you know, blighty and the uh, whatever. Uh, so let's just uh, uh, do, do a slight recoup of, oh good, I've dropped it on my book, that's nice too. <laughs> a couple from last year.
What's that now? Is that a fragrance or an immaterial? It's a material. Yeah, it's rose, isn't it? It is rose. So this is rose. this is the rose essential oil, which is it's the most rose. It, it yeah. is the ultimate. It, it cannot but help you. Just well, me. This is the closest I get to just melting into a soft squidge of joy. Do you love and rose? Delight. Do you? I think I love rose. Mm. I didn't think I did, but I do. Because I couldn't afford any rose essential oil in the past, and then having gone there and got some, I'm like, damn. I mean, can't it's. Do without it. I mean, it's, there's nothing like it, is there? Nope. nope. And you kind of understand why all the myths grow up around it, and, mm. you know, it was, um, <clears throat> it was the. The flower of Venus, and then when Christianity took over, it was turned into the flower of the Virgin Mary. So you said, empty out your pet, put bottle. It's funny that it was the flower of Venus, because you wouldn't have thought anything would grow there. <clears throat> Nicely. Thanks. Nicely done. Let's Ooh. bring in some... Astronomy. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Helichrysum. This is the everlasting flower essential oil. <sighs> and usually the everlasting flower Helichrysum, also called something else. No, I've got. Uh, um, no, it'll come back to me. Um, wow. See, that does more for me than rose. I I'm very very fond of this. I came back with more of this than the rose, because. But, yes, there's a lot going on. Usually it's made into the absolute. Mm -hmm. But this is the essential oil, which is very bright. Um, uh, it's If you can imagine honey that isn't sweet. So it sort of smells of honey. It smells of when you take the lid off the honey, but you haven't tasted it. Because the taste of honey is sweet, but the aroma of honey is not necessarily so. It's just honey. Yeah, and there's, there's, there's that, there's... Yes. There's there's real it's very herbaceous as mm -hmm. well. Yes it is. There's there's bright green entanglements. Uh yeah, this is this is there's it's very undergrowthy, it's very overgrowthy. It's, you know. Immortel, that's what it's called in, in French. As in everlasting flower, immortel, yeah, it immortel. does not die. Oh wow. Helicrysum. Yeah. But I think this also goes wow. really rather nicely with elderflower and beeswax and linden. Oh yeah. Well then we should. Then we should, yeah. So I'm going to start writing some formulas for these <clears> not necessary <throat> today. The elderflower is very subtle, isn't it? Compared with the others I would say yeah. yes. So I have the elderflower at 5% strength here and the linden is also at 5 But <laughs> I've got it written down as elder, Bulgarian elderflower at... I forgot to write, so I'm going to write it at five percent. Um, but I think it could. I, I would probably, if I dilute another lot, I'd make this at ten because yeah. it isn't as powerful by mm. any means as the other ones that we have here. And all the others are diluted to five, and they they mean it. I find these. I find the, the, everything that we've smelt today <clears throat> very inspiring. They're really inspiring smells. Maybe yep. that's because they're new to me. Maybe. Maybe just when we think we've smelled everything, we turn, it turns out that we haven't. Um, <clears throat> well, I do have a new project to work on. Oh, yeah? For a botanic garden. Oh, yes. Yes, yes you do. So, uh, and I've got a list of the materials they first had when it opened in the 1600s. And I'm really hoping that they had some linden. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And some other flowers. And maybe some other flowers, <laughs> yes. And maybe some everlasting flower. They've definitely got rose. Elderflower cordial, I think, is my favourite cordial. Mm. I mean, that's a very. It's, I was quite cliche of that, isn't it, really? I don't know. I like. Blackcurrant. Yeah, we used to have a blackcurrant and coffee cordial when we first. Do you remember way back? Back in the old building. We had these, there was a limited edition. Yeah, of vaguely. Elderflower, no, blackcurrant and coffee. And coffee. I'll do the thing. 
Vaguely, yeah. I'll tell you what I've done. I've put my uh, soft musk blend, mm -hmm. which I made for the Christmas parties we did, which paid for us all to have a Christmas mm -hmm. weekend off. And I've put two drops, because I'm just doing drops because this is just an experiment. I would always measure everything by weight, except we aren't. So I've on, onto a filter paper, <coughs> I have put four drops of the musk blend Rotten filter paper, with two elderflower, one linden blossom, one beeswax, just to see what, what a, a little sketch of a perfume might be <coughs> like. Wow. And then what I would do, because as soon as I get new materials, then what you have to do is work out how are they going to fit in with all the other materials you like. You get a new friend, how do you introduce it to your group? Like It. <laughs> a new friend. If you get a new friend, yeah, how do you friend. introduce it to your group? How do you introduce them <laughs> to your group? So you're, you're a new friend, or a bunch of new friends. We've got a quartet here of new friends. Yeah. We don't even know if they're all going to get on with each other, mm -hmm. but we try that first. But what, so what's best is, is not deciding to put it into a big blend where everything's in there already, but maybe possibly putting it into um, just like, so here we've got, we've got some Hedio. So. Hedio, the most, the most affable person at the party. Hedion is um gets on with everyone. Pretty much pretty much does. But also Hedion will go do Hedion make sure that everybody shines. Yeah, Every, Hedion will bring out the best of people. Hedion yes. has got a good moral compass. They won't be rude to anyone. Yeah. That they don't agree with. But it's got a subtle integrity, hasn't it? Gets on with everyone. Yeah, sorry, everyone. Yeah, <clears throat> and and doesn't unless uh, you, know, you can have you can have as, almost as much head on as you could possibly deal with, and head on still won't take over. Yeah. But after a while, they might possibly. I mean, I won't use a hundred percent head on for me. There's this this another rumor around that head on is a pheromone. Kill me now. So, this is Hedione plus, um, so it's four Hedione, two Linden, no, one Linden, two Elderflower. I didn't write everything down this time, but this is just to see what happens. I'm getting a lot of ethanol on this today. Well, that's because it <coughs> I, I gave it to you too soon. Should have let it dry first. Yeah, you know, I'm going to let it dry for a sec. Okay. I'll go back to this one. Yes. Like. So I've uh -huh. also got I've also got Bulgarian tobacco, which came over last time, and lavender. Melissa, which is lemon balm, which is a choice, a little bit too punchy, and some rosemary. And they're also it's really good. Yeah. The be there's beeswax in that, isn't there? I did put yeah, that's one. Yeah, the beeswax, beeswax the on. beeswax is 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 fighting for too much space, I think. Yeah. Which is why we do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, because you don't really know until it's all in. No. That is nice. Yeah, the beeswax, the beeswax is winning. But I think on the other hand we say that it's just that the others are going, go on beeswax, it's your mm -hmm. turn. Up to the front. Oh, yeah, do you know what, that's just, you can just smell the pheromones in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then I would repeat the whole lot. I've got the Ambretolide here, I've got the Ambrox somewhere, the Ambrofix. Um, I've got Bergamot to test it with. We could, we could go for hours, but I think what we'll do is, I will do an Ambrofix one, because I think that would be interesting. So Ambrofix at the moment I have 
instead of Ambrox Super. Ambrofix. Yeah, Ambrofix. So it's a, a fixative, you know, it's one of those, uh, if you imagine that it's like putting down a sort of Velcro mat with hooks on both sides, so it sticks to the skin and it sticks other materials to it and it helps things last a lot longer. But it also has its own aroma, which is, um, it's a sort of, well, it's in, it's in actual ambergris. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's got a little bit more character. It's a little bit more dominant than Hedion or Isoi Soup okay. or any of the musks. But I just want to see. I want to see what occurs. So, mm, well, I'm just I'm just fiddling about with. Amber fix sounds like something you'd get down at the car dealership to. It does a bit. Doesn't to it? help your engine. Yeah. Oh, you need a bit of amber fix. A bit of amber fix on that, mate. Yeah, yeah. that's all. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to put amber fix. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. That's that explains it then, doesn't it? Um, but so we have Ambrox, Ambrox Super, Ambrox An, Setalox. They all kind of smell the same. They kind of do the same thing. Each company brings out their own version. It's still I can see the. Why did they do that? I could still see the ethanol evaporating, mm. so I was, so was going to gonna wait. I couldn't, couldn't help myself. Um, Ambrox and Ro oh no, I'm, I'm Ro So this is Ambrofix. Ambrofix, yeah. Plus the elderflower and linden blossom. Oh, wow. That's great. Mm. It is, and I should let you smell the Ambrofix by itself just so you know. Yeah, please. What we're dealing with. I'm not a huge fan of the amber, the, the ambrox, amber. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, the well, the amber extreme. That's different. That's yeah. the really powerful woody amber stuff. This not so much. I don't. I, I mean, there, there was a time when I was a teenage boy that I loved it, but and but now I smell, I smell perfumes that have got ambrox super in or whatever it is. Mm. I'm actively turned off. Them. I, just, I don't yeah. like it at all. It is... In fact, I think it's my least favourite perfume smell. I tend to think... Well, here you go. See see if, you, if you're if misjudging it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. I, you see, this is, this is what I, I think. I think that... People think it's Ambrox and Ambrofix in fragrances that they don't like, but actually, I think it's Amber Extreme and the other woody ambers. Yeah, no, because that's lovely by itself. Yes, but if you put this in with the other woody ambers, it makes the other woody ambers even more kind of. Mm. It makes them brutal. I mean, they're quite. They can be quite powerful, but they can be. They can be a bit much. So I think, I think that's what happens. People blame. The Ambrox, or the Ambrox Amelie. Yeah, yeah. Just by itself, I think it's lovely. It is very nice. And well, let's have a whiff of that again. That one, yeah. So the 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 Ambrofix plus elderflower. Oh, and do you know what? Blossom. Now it's it's interesting. It's changed a bit. Now it's evaporated a bit. Mhm. Mm changed in what direction? It's got chocolatey. <gasps> yeah. Smell that, but think about chocolate. Okay. That doesn't take too much thing, like. <laughs> Yeah, now I can't smell anything except chocolate. Yeah. There's your own book. Thank you. Yeah. I know what we haven't done. Just one which is just the elderflower and linden by itself. Oh, yeah. That's what we should do. <clears throat> so, one linden to two elderflower. That's what I've been doing with all the other things. So this is this is basically you know you know like um oh I don't think you you didn't overlap with spring school did you? You were in India when we had six pe six four people we had four people in five days. Right. And uh, this is interesting. Yep. So this is just the linden, so the same amount of linden and elderflower as is on the strip with two drops of ambrox. I'm smelling these too quickly. 
every time I go, oh, it's just ethanol, and then I forget, and then I do the same mistake again. Yeah. Okay, so while it dries down, when we had the, we, we had a room full of people, and I was trying to get them to do all these experiments. They to see what happens, do put that and that together, and then do it with Hedio, and then do it with a mask, and then do it with Ice Wee Super, which we haven't done yet, and then do it with Ambox and see what happens, and observe, and learn, and, and they wouldn't. They just wanted to bong everything in all at once and finish. And uh, so, actually, sort of didn't want to stop them because some of them made some really nice things that quickly. Mm -hmm. That's like, but if you are going to, you do have to you know, stop and smell the roses, huh? Uh, stop and smell the helichrysum. Mm -hmm. So, so you've got just the elderflower and linden. Smell the elderflower and linden plus ambroxan compared with that. Yeah, wow. Exactly. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we add synthetics to naturals. Even if it, it rounds them off. It, and it makes them just bigger. It glues like, them together, it elevates them. It, 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 it's just, it's not even worth comparing the difference between those. Yeah. I mean, it, for me, and shoot me down in flames, but I think it's almost a waste just to use naturals by themselves. Yeah, I agree. Because we've got the other flower and the linden here, both gorgeous, but the linden spectacular. The two together, fabulous. You add a bit of Ambrofix to them, and they they're just like super powered. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's true. That is, I will continue to experiment and come up with some formulas for taking with me to Bulgaria. Well, I read an article saying that scientists have proven that um, to have something to look forward to makes you happier. And yeah. the fact that you are about to use these materials to make some new formulas has provided me with exactly that. And I have um, three months to look forward to going to Bulgaria. And that makes, maybe that's why people book their holidays in January. Yeah. See, I think you should go on your holidays in January. That's my belief. But would you then... Oh, <clears throat> yeah, but, but you, you book yours and you go straight away, so that deprives you of the joy of, like, six months of looking forward to going. Yes, I know, but I think we got it all wrong. Well, I mean, this is, obviously, this is not a new thought, is it? Why do we go away for some holidays? You should go away for winter holidays. Well, that's and... true. But they cost a lot more, generally speaking. Winter holidays tend to cost more. And, do they? Yeah. No, I mean, like... If you're going to go somewhere hot, yeah, I don't so, mean like a skiing holiday. No, no, it, we're we're thinking about we're thinking about different different things. Maybe that uh, in when so when I was a kid, most people went on a holiday in the UK. Yeah, that is not a sodding staycation. That's a holiday. A mm. staycation is if you stay in your own house and go out every day. <laughs> yeah, that's a, an actual holiday. I won't have somebody negate my entire childhood holidays by saying that staying in the same country in your own country isn't a holiday. Oh, it's still a they holiday. They can stick it. It's still a holiday. So, but it would be that if you went on your holiday in summer, you could be within the UK. You could drive there. Okay. You see? Yep. And so if you went on holiday to somewhere warm where people would probably tend to take the holidays... You'd have to be uh, going overseas. Yes. So This makes sense. perfect sense. So, I mean, I, I only knew... There was only one family in all of my school that went skiing. Yeah. <laughs> so because that's it was the seventies. Yeah. And 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 we didn't do that. So so that's why everybody everybody would take holidays. Also six weeks off in summer, off the school, so people would tend to fit it in then. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, the whole. I'll be going yeah. back to India in January. Well, fair enough. I've never been. I should go. You should. Yeah. But I'm um, looking forward <clears throat> to going to Bulgaria in July. <laughs> All the cheese. I love the cheese. They can't have make cheese in Bulgaria. I went... Yeah. <laughs> we'll end that. <laughs> 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 I was about to go off on one. Yeah. About cheese in Bulgaria. Bye. Mm -hmm.